What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the King and I Life podcast, hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother, Son Soul X, in his joint. Check it out. Hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all our podcast info. Subscribe to whatever podcast platform that you choose. Also, hit us up k i n g a n d e y e three six nine at gmail.com. Email us your suggestions, your feedback, and all that good stuff. Tune in to us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter Wednesday, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share because we are all over all those social media platforms. Stay tuned for the good stuff. Yeah, we out. Ladies and gentlemen, King I Life Podcast. So touch the poet of my brother. Sounds so Lex. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification. Make sure you comment and hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all that other valuable and pertinent information. Sounds so Lex. Let's go. And yeah, you guys can always reach out to us at K-I-N-G-A-N-D-E-Y-E-369 at gmail.com. Again, that's King and I369 at gmail.com. And we want to say thank you guys on Instagram for bumping up our numbers. Our numbers are steady going up. So thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. And keep tuning in. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so <laughs> can you go too far for the love of a friend? I think you can. Um, really? You think so? I think you can. Because there have been numerous of cases uh, while growing up where young people would find themselves trying to help their friends out. In some particular cases, when it even came down to murder, mm. like helping your friend dispose of the body and shit. I'm like, mm. you come knocking on my goddamn window in the middle of the night talking about, hey, man, come help me dispose of this body. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got boundaries. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're just not going to do that. So I'm not going to help you bury a body. I'm not going to help you commit murder. Mm. Uh, I might help you get even, but I ain't going to help you commit murder. <laughs> Bruh, you know what? <laughs> you, I agree you can go too far for the love of a friend, but there are boundaries, especially... When you get later in life, um, those boundaries yeah. get wider and wider and wider because the one, like I say, peace of mind is everything and I'm not losing anything over anybody. My freedom, my peace of mind, my stability, my money, my life, none of that. Um, Definitely I, not. You know, and, and the thing about it, a lot of people, they they go that far because they don't want to feel guilty. Um, the one thing that I understood for a, a long time, especially when it comes to relationships with other people, no, no matter what the relationship is, everyone has a story and everyone to some degree either empathizes or sympathizes with someone else's story. Um, but you have to keep everything in perspective because you know, just because you know somebody that had a rough background don't mean that you can let them, let that chip at your integrity or your core, you know, because at some point, your friends got to grow up. They got to man up, woman up, uh, person up, whatever the case may be. And it's like, if if what you're doing or the not doing or the decisions that you are making are that critical it's like i got love for you but love has limits um love is yeah. not unconditional over here it is not unconditional over here um period i don't give a fuck what nobody say love is not unconditional here um and i don't expect anyone to have unconditional love for me because you know i may be operating in a way that may be unfavorable to somebody i may not see nothing about it and if they got a problem with it, 
they either let me know about it or they distance themselves and I'm going to treat people the same way. Um, if you do something that I'm not liking or whatever the case may be, I'm going to let you know about it. And if that's just who you are, uh, I got to let you be, you know, we kick it every now and then, whatever, but it's not going to be, I ain't going, nah, it's not, I'm not going too far. I'm just not doing it. True that. <clears throat> um, I had this friend named Tommy, right? Tommy was a star athlete in football. He was a star. I think he was a cornerback. I know he was, he was something. I want to say cornerback. But anyway, he was a star athlete. I mean, like he had numerous of schools looking at him, like major schools that wanted him to come and play ball at their school. But Tommy also had a friend. Um, I think his name was Michael. I want to say I could be wrong. But anyway, Michael was the one who was always in and out of damn trouble. Hmm. So Michael actually started having kids before they got out of high school. Hmm. Um, So one particular night, Michael and my homeboy, Tommy, were hanging out. And... Michael had some drugs. Mm. Um, unfortunately, they got in a situation where cops were called, and uh, Tommy wasn't thinking. He he, mm. he made an awful decision. Um, what it comes down to is the cops like Michael. You know who drugs are these? And Michael's like, oh no, it ain't mine. That's called Michael Ass was on probation. Mm-hmm. Michael Ass was going to go back to goddamn jail. Michael mm-hmm. had a kid. Mm-hmm. My friend Tommy, not fully realizing, understand what the hell he was doing, took the hit. I mean, he said the drugs are mine. So, yep, damn sure did. Um, Tommy screwed himself. Because he lost his scholarships. Wow. Uh, he was never looked at the same anymore at school. Wow. Um, basically, his whole future was ripped away from him because he chose mm-hmm. to stand up and take a hit for a friend. Mm-hmm. So, needless to say, uh, Michael wasn't a true friend because, you know, once Tommy got into the situation of taking a hit for him, he basically stopped hanging with him. Like, mm. you were the dumbass that took the hit for me. That's your fault. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, again, Tommy pretty much had a ticket, man. He had a ticket out of the situation he was in where he could have did big things, you know with his scholarship, uh, whichever school he, he may have chose to go to. But that is a situation of going too far for a friend. Oh, bro. Don't take a hit like that. You can't take a hit like that. I'm just trying to try. I'm, I'm literally trying to soak that in. Um, I couldn't imagine doing it. And, if anybody put me in that type of situation, I'm just hoping that we are not together at the same time. Meaning, like, we hopefully we're not in the same car, in the house at the same time, or in a place at the same time, because I'm going to beg the police to let me whoop that ass. Um, because, you know, it and it irritates me to this day where people do stuff like that when it comes to illegal things. I don't care if it's a substance or activity or whatever. Um, if you, if something go down, own up to it. Don't take nobody down with you, especially if they innocent. Like, they have nothing to do with that. Like, man. Like, I used to hate having people in my car back in the day, and I know they carrying stuff. And I'd be like, if you get pulled over, 
my car could get impounded, I can catch a charge, I can go to jail, I could lose my job. And it's like, I don't understand why people just don't have the common decency when it comes to making those type of decisions. It's like, if you dirty and you know I don't rock like that, why put me in that type of situation? I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't. And it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Because that's one of them things that make me go back to our people just don't give a damn about each other in certain situations. It's like, those are one of them situations. It's like, yo, I'm not going out too far my way for you when you're doing stupid shit. Now, if I'm doing stupid shit with you, that's a different story. But if I'm not doing stupid shit, don't do stupid shit with me. Don't put me in that predicament. Right. And the thing about it is, um, you know, once it came down that Tommy is going to lose his scholarship and all that, at that point, Michael could have easily stepped up and said, you know what, man? Um, let me correct this situation. Mm. He already had, you know, cases on him and plus being on probation. But Tommy was looking at it like, let me help my friend because I know he's on probation. He mm. doesn't need to go back. And plus he has a kid. I'm not doing it. But And, 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 I, and I do blame him for that because... yeah. Just because that joke on probation got a kid coming, at the end of the day, he's still doing dumb shit. So exactly. on top of him do, making bad decisions, you go make a bad decision thinking you helping him out. And it's like, no, you're not helping him out. Nah, let him fall on his ass. He'll get, hopefully he'll get tired of making bad decisions. If not, then that's on him. Yeah. But Michael never uh, stood up and say, hey, man, uh, I appreciate what you did for me, but, you know, I'm going to have to take this ride. You got too much going on mm-hmm. for you. Too many good things going on for you. Mm-hmm. Michael's like, fuck you. I'm good. You're a dumbass. Deuces. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> but, you know, again, these these are the type of situations uh, young people make. But when you're at this stage in life, if you are willing to take a hit, for someone else like that, then you are definitely the, not the smart one in that situation. Let them take that hit, bro. They brought it on themselves. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Let them go. And that, that goes into setting boundaries with friends that make bad decisions. And again, that goes to friends, family, just people you know, whatever the case may be. Um, because you have to you, you you have to look at you and you well you should already be looking at you and thinking about what's what's in your best interest when it comes to people who making bad decisions around you. Um, Cause again, you, you can't let people's decisions affect your well being, <laughs> mental, physical, emotional, uh, financial. You cannot let people's bad decisions affect you. Um, and it, you know, it just falls into that cycle of when you allow people to, infiltrate you that way and what i mean by that is you keep co-signing their bad behavior or poor decisions or whatever the case may be they're looking at you like hey if i get in a pinch i can always call this person and it's like nah that's not how it is um you got you got to be mature about whatever your actions are and if if you really need me i got you but i'm not gonna be there just to be there because that's crazy i'm not doing that yep um, when it comes down to boundary, I, I definitely have, you know, my force filled up, as they say. Um, if I can help you, I help you. If I have to go out of my way, depending on who it is, I might do it, depending on what the situation is. Um, you know, when it comes down to something that perhaps is, is, out of my friends or my family members control. Yes, I, I will go out of my way to help you. But 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 but, but it has to be something legit. <laughs> yeah. It, it has to be something like, you know, you got hurt in an accident and you, you can't get certain things done. You know, I might, you know, step in to help you if I can. But I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I'm hurting myself by helping you. Right. And, that, yeah. That's one of those things, you know, I've learned over time that you can't do, you can't 
hurt yourself will put yourself in a bind because someone else is going through things, whether that's, excuse me, by design or, <laughs> you know, again, things out of their control. At the end of the day, it's about self-preservation. And again, I hate to put it like that, but when it comes down to people making bad decisions and, you know, they chose to go damn party and not pay their damn rent, mm. your ass can be out in the street because I'm not going to help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's you just how it you is. You got that. You got that. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, you, you definitely have to, you know, like you said, put up boundaries. There has to be limits where you're not willing to go past when it comes down to family and friends. Um, again, I get things happen out of our control, but bad decisions, when it comes down to bad decisions, I'm not going to go out my way to help you. At all. Not going to do it. Nah, nah. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's it's not too much that can be said about that. Um, again, if it's if it's some something legit or something like that, then all right, cool. Then then we'll see. But um, don't be coming to me with an emergency, and it's because you made a bad decision, or you come to me with an emergency, and it's not it's not even an emergency. It's just something that is important to you and only you. Like it's not for anything other than your self gratification. You got nothing coming. Nothing coming. So um but then even with that, even if it's if it's a situation to where, you know, something serious happened out of their control, I have to look at what led up to it because it's like it's not it's not as simple as, oh well they had accidents out of their control. Um I got to look at what, what was going on because I'm not just going to be like, all right, damn, you had an accident. It's out of your control. And then let me help you out because I'm going to be like, well, what the fuck caused the accident? Like, what was you doing? Right. And you can't sit there and be like, oh, that's not important. I just need to know. Oh, it's important because if you did something stupid that led to this, whatever that's out of your control, then you got nothing coming because I just, I don't have it for you. I can't. I can't put my, I'm not putting myself out there like that. No. Especially nowadays, I mean, yeah, with with just the world that we live in now, resources are very important. Yeah. <laughs> Whether that be your car, your time, your money, your energy, yeah, ever, yeah. effort, yeah. everything is so important. And jokers you know, out there ain't managing managing their resources; they want yours. It's like, nah, we good. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Yep. But uh, to what extent should you care, like when your friends and family uh, make bad decisions? You know what? I have come to the stage in my life where I just do not care about too much outside of what I need to care about. Um, like I will be understanding. I will be empathetic. Um. I will, if I can assist, I will. But when it comes to caring overall, I kind of don't care because I know I've made piss poor decisions in my life. I, I, I have no problem saying I've made bad decisions. But I've come to the point where most of the decisions that I make, I will just venture out to say 75%, maybe 80% of the decisions that I make, I know I can carry on my back. Um, and with all that I have going on, um, I can't really care about the bad decision that someone else is making. I just can't, um, you know, like when it comes to my son, my older son, like he makes a lot of bad decisions and, you know, at a point I was like, you know, I was caring, caring and caring, but it's like, when I see that you keep making the same bad decisions, over and over and over again, and then you're calling me, you're calling your mother, or or you you giving us your ass to kiss, and you're still making bad decisions, and then you're blaming other people, and then you're not doing anything to change the situation. I can't care because it's not for me to care. 
if you don't care about what you are doing as far as your decisions, I can't care either. And and that goes for everybody that I come in contact with or have been in contact with. If you don't care, I can't care. And I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm going to sleep well at night. You can, uh, whatever, but I just can't care. Yeah, I, I definitely had to learn that the hard way because on the type, you know, when it comes down to family and friends, I go out of my way or used to go out of my way to um, take a hit for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I can help you, I'll help you. Um, but then I, I've just gotten to, or I got to a point where I continuously see people making the same effed up decisions. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things my wife helped me with, um, saying that you have to learn how to let shit go. Mm-hmm. Meaning when it comes down to family members making bad decisions and you knowing better and wanting to see them succeed um, at whatever it is that they're doing. And they still continuously bump their head and you're saying, hey, you're going to duck. You need, you need to duck right there. And they mm-hmm. still bump their head. And keeps going on and on. It's like at some point you as a person who, you know, is a caring person, you have to stop caring. Yeah. You have to stop wanting to be there for them. You have to stop wanting to be that person that gets the ice pack for the bump on their head. (laughs) There's nothing you can do when it comes down to grown people um, continuously making bad choices. Mm -hmm. And uh, the crazy part about it is you would think with age comes wisdom. But that's not necessarily the case all the time. Mm-mm. Like, I have a female friend of mine who she keeps um, picking the wrong fucking guys. Like, mm-hmm. continuously keeps picking the same type of dude time and time again. And it's like, I used to, uh, as a friend, want to be there for her and you know, help her get through her rough times and heal her and get her back to, you know, solid ground. But then I got to a point um, where I had to release my friend from that level. Like, Mm -hmm. sometimes she would call me and be like, you know, this is going on, that's going on, and I would listen and try to give, you know, good advice. But now I don't particularly do that so much anymore. I might half-ass listen, I'll be honest with you. (laughs) Um, Just to say, you know, I'm still your friend. But Mm -hmm. again, at the end of the day, um, at this age in our lives, and she's the same age as me, you know, well in her 40s, you're still making the same damn stupid-ass decisions. Right. So, if you still keep on picking guys who are thugs and um, treat you like shit, how do what the fuck am I supposed to do? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. come on, man you you you're old enough to realize and understand um, that by picking these dudes, they're not gonna change. So the only person who can change is you. So. Again, you know, not taking shots out there, but at the same time, I have to distance myself from that and I cannot continue to care about the same shit you are going through because at the end of the day, you're the one who keeps making that same decision to pick the guys who don't give a fuck about you. It just makes no sense. You know, sometimes it's not them. It's not who they pick. Sometimes it's just them. Right. Um, And I say that because for a long time, I was in that picking the wrong woman stage, but that fell, when I look back on it, it fell back to me 
just making poor decisions within myself. Um, and I know we had talked about this before, and it's like, you know, some people are just just in a place where they just make poor decisions. And it's not always the people outside. It's just the decisions that they make, period. And it's like, um, like we were saying, like, some people just keep making bad decisions and they make bad decisions in one place and it filters on to everything else that they're doing. And, you know, they complain, they complain, they complain about everybody else and what everybody else is doing. But it's not it's not those people. It's you who is the problem. It's you making the bad decisions. It's you why people treat you this way. It's like if you're making decisions to make you look like a pushover, this, that, and the case may be, you really can't blame other people for treating you like that because this is what you're inviting into your life. And it's like exactly. once you stop, stop making those bad decisions, people will look at you differently and they won't, they probably won't test you that way. You know, I mean, that's, that could be it sometimes. Uh, But yeah, there are people who make bad decisions, picking the wrong men, picking the wrong women. I know I've been through that. Um, and I got to a point where I stopped doing that because I had to look inside at the decisions that I was making, how I was approaching situations. And, and, and it's not so much the decision I was making in the people that I chose. It's the decisions that I made when I chose those people. It's like I would do something that wasn't smart or, or logical and it caused this person to act this way. But, you know, I could blame them. But when all boil, all boiled down to it, it's like I made decisions in that situation that weren't favorable and that was on me. So, I mean, you know, people make that bad decisions and, and sometimes they pick the wrong people and it's sometimes their decisions that make the right person the wrong person. True that. Well said. Um, so in closing, I, I will say this. When it comes down to choosing your friends, for me, I always go by actions. I don't let words uh, lead me astray. Um, as I did when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Again, that's, that's pretty much how I am. I, I go by people's actions now. I don't give a damn about your words. You can tell me, you know, it's blue outside all day long, but until I go out there and see it for myself, I'm probably not going to go with certain people's words. <laughs> right. If you telling me it's blue outside and you in a raincoat, uh, it's probably not going to be sunshine out there. It's, it's probably going to be a blue sky with rain. So, mm. But anyway. Dang. At the end of the day, um, if, if people out there making bad decisions – people that are close to you making bad decisions. You have to take into account how you're going to let those bad decisions affect you. If you're going to let them affect your life, um, your peace of mind and all that stuff, you got to you gotta take that into consideration and, and be mindful of how it can affect you uh, negatively if that's the case. Um, but at the end of the day, we all make bad decisions. Nobody's perfect. True that. The best thing that you can do is think about how things affect you and, and your peace of mind and your stability and not let other people, don't let other people dictate that for you. Exactly. When somebody trying to take you left and you trying to go right, go right. Yeah, it is. So just stop the car. <laughs> stop. <laughs> no. That's it. Give him whiplash. I'll, I'll walk from here. We yeah. good. But yeah, it's King of Our Life Podcast. It's your boy, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother. Son Soul Lex. Hey, hit us up with that www.kingandourlife.com. You can find all our links on there to the audio podcast, the uh, YouTube videos, uh, the guest registration if you want to come on to the show, um, and a lot more. Son Soul Lex. Again, you guys can find us on YouTube, Twitter, um, Facebook. All of your major podcast platforms, like we say, we out here having these podcast streets. Um, but again, on YouTube, Facebook, whatever you see, 
us or where we at, hit that like, share, subscribe, man. Help us get the subscriber count up, if you would. We appreciate it. Yeah. And we'll holler at y'all on the next one. Deuces. Peace.